so today we're doing the circumference of a circle. So as we've learned in year eight, the circumference of a circle is all the way around the outside of the circle. The length all the way around the outside. Okay, so the formula for the circumference of a circle you should already know. It's C equals 2 pi r, where r is the radius, and obviously C stands for circumference. You could also use the other formula, which is C equals pi d, where d is the diameter. Um, I tend to use the one with the r more likely because all the other formulas involve an r. Okay, so the next thing we have is arc length of a sector. So I've drawn a sector here. It's like having a piece of pie or a piece of pizza. All right, now you can imagine that piece of pie is part of a whole pie. There's the rest of the pie. So this is the centre of the circle. These two lines are radii, two radiuses. This is what we call the arc length, the length of the arc. And then we have an angle which we are calling theta, which is the angle that's at the centre of the circle of that sector. Okay, we call it the angle subtended at the centre of the circle. Okay, the word subtended does confuse people. It's just the angle at the centre of that sector. Okay, so the formula is L for arc length equals theta over 360 because you're trying to find what fraction of the circle that angle takes up. So we've got 360 degrees in the whole circle at that centre point. 360 degrees going at the point or around the point. And we're taking up a sector with that particular angle. So it's whatever that angle is over 360 degrees is the fraction of the circle it's taking up. Times that, get that fraction, times by the circumference of the circle, and you'll find what part of the whole circumference of the circle you have for that arc length. Okay, so don't forget L is for arc length. Theta is the angle subtended at the centre, or just the angle at the centre. And the R is the radius. Alright, so the area of a circle formula, which you should already know, is area equals pi R squared. Don't forget when you're doing the circumference and the area, right, we have either 2 pi R or pi R squared. Alright, the pi is in both formulas. The R is in both formulas. And then it's just a matter of, does the 2 go here or does it go at the front? Well, area is always dealing with square units. They're square, so that one's area. That means the other one must be a circumference formula. Okay, and that's the way I remember it. So when we get to the area of a sector, again, remember a sector is a piece of pie cut out of the middle of the circle. There's the rest of your circle. So we need to find the fraction of the circle that that takes up. So it's whatever angle is there out of 360 degrees is your fraction. And this time we're trying to find the area of this sector here. So we want to find that fraction of the area of the whole circle. All right, so these formulas for the arc length and the area of the sector should actually make sense. So that when you get into an exam, you're not sort of thinking, oh, I've got to remember that formula off by heart because it should make sense. Okay, so we're going to start just one question here in this video and then do the rest in the next video. All right, so in this first question, pretty simple. We're just finding the circumference of a circle. So we're starting with our formula. C equals 2 pi r. Remember, there is that other formula of C equals pi d. We've got a radius here. So we're going to use the formula with the radius in it. Okay, so then we're just going to put that in. 2 times pi times 8 for the radius. And then we're going to our calculator. So we are going to round in a minute, but we're going to write the whole decimal down first. So we're doing 2 times shift pi, to get your pi up, times the radius equals, and we're writing that whole decimal down. Okay, the question says to do two decimal places. We draw a line after two decimal places. Look at the next digit. That next digit is a five or more. So we're going up by one here to make it a seven. 
to keep everything else in the path the same. It's in centimetres, and it is a circumference, so that's in centimetres as well. Okay, for the area, we are doing the area formula, which is pi r squared. A equals pi r squared. Don't just write pi r squared down. Make sure you've got A equals there. All right, it's really important to have the left-hand side, otherwise it's not actually a formula. All right, then we're going to put in our numbers. Pi times 8 squared. I'm going to go to our calculator and then we'll round it off in a minute and see what we have. Okay, so remembering where the pi key is. So we're doing pi is down the bottom here, but because it's in yellow, we have to press the shift button first. So it's shift pi times 8 squared. 8 squared equals, and write down that answer. Okay, two decimal places. Draw the line out for the two decimal places. This time we have a 1, which is less than 5. So I'm going to leave that 1 before. Copy everything else. And it's in centimetres and squared for area. Okay, so we're going to come back to the next video and do them a lot of more practice in this work.